Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to sell digital products on Wix. So first thing that we should do is we have to open any of our web browser and then using the search bar at the top, we just have to type out wix.com and log into our Wix account. So as you can see right here, these are all my website. Okay, so what you're going to do here is you just have to simply click on the create new site option after logging in. Okay, so let me just click on the create new site right here. So this one at the top right. And then you just have to select use Wix editor. Okay, so just click on this one and another tab will open. So right here you can bring your ideas to life with AI. So just get started faster with the help of AI. Just have to tell them about yourself and get personalized tools, images, and text for your site. So you can start chat or set up without chat. For this video, I'm going to set up without chat. So just click on this one. Now right here, what type of website do you want to create? So you just have to search right here, digital products. Okay, so type out products. Okay, so as you can see, we have here digital product store. So I think this is the best type of website that we're looking for. Now, next is you just have to click on continue. Okay, so just wait for a couple of seconds while they're preparing your dashboard on Wix. Okay, next thing is we can set up our account right here so this is our dashboard now let us start setting up our store so give your store a name so you can create a new one or use a name you already have so i'm just going to use digipro okay next is you just have to simply click on continue or you can also skip this part if you want to now do you already have an online store so i'm going to select no i'm just starting selling online and right here, what kind of products are you selling? So we're going to choose digital products. And after that, just click on continue. This one at the bottom right. Okay, so how are you offering your products? So of course, it is online store. So we're going to choose this one. Or you can also choose my mobile app or marketplaces and social media. Now just click on continue. Next thing that we should do here is just wait for a couple of seconds. And now that we're all set, we just have to head over to our dashboard to finish setting up our site. So just click on this button right here. Okay, so now that we are on our dashboard, we can now start um, setting up our payment methods, adding our first products, set up shipping and delivery, design our website, get found by customers in Google, and discover Wix Enterprise. So for this video, I am going to highlight and how we can set up our payment methods. So this one over here, so you just have to click on the setup payments right here at the right side. Okay, so as you can see in my current location, so I am in the Philippines right now. So the available payment options are this. So when I click on the see more payment options at the bottom left side, okay, we'd be able to see here more payment options for my current region or country. Okay, now see for example, you are not from that default region. So all you have to do is to go back here and click on the name of the country at the top right. And right here, you can use the search bar to search for your region so for example united states so this one i'm just going to click on this one next is you just have to click on choose okay this one okay so as you can see we have now this kind of payment option so we have accept credit or debit cards with wix so to start just click on connect and right here, payment providers have certain restrictions. So to make sure we connect to the right provider, review the restricted list, and answer the questions below. Okay, so we just have to review this things right here. And after that, right here, we just have to answer the question honestly. Okay, and then after that, just click on the continue button at the bottom right. Okay, so this one, accept and continue. And right here, 
you can select how customers can pay so with wix payment give your customers the ability to pay online and in person so we have your credit or the bet cards we have apple pay google pay Afterpay, affirm klarna tap to pay on mobile wix point of sale now if we want to enable or disable a specific payment option we just have to simply click on this switch right here okay so i'm going to exclude the apple pay and include klarna for this payment option so after that just click on continue so this one at the bottom right okay so this one now just wait for a couple of seconds and the next thing that you can do here is in order to start accepting payment online is we have to upgrade this plan to a premium one so upgrade your site with a business and e-commerce premium plan to start accepting payment with wix klarna credit cards the back cards and google pay so just simply click on upgrade so after upgrading your plan to a premium one then you'd be able to connect it to this payment option so now that we are done setting up our payment option let us continue and start designing our site so just click on the setup option at the left side and right here at the top right we just have to click on design site okay and then right here how would you like to design your website so you can start by generating a design with ai or customize a template we also have an option where we can continue with setup for now but i'm going to pick a template for this one okay so picking up a template will give you an advantage so that you can build a functional website okay so right here at the top right we have a search bar so we can search for a specific template that we're looking for so i'm just going to type out digital products okay so we have here different template that we can use now if you found your template all you have to do is to click on that specific template and then just click on edit okay so this one and then another tab will open now just wait for a couple of seconds and right here at the uh, left side you can add elements add section pages and menu side design add apps my business media and cms okay so to start customizing this template let me just zoom it in to 100 percent okay so this is our template for this page so right here at the top left we have here our pages so for example we are going to visit our book page okay so we have here different pages so let me just visit my book page so this page will be the storage of our products okay so we are going to add our products here later on so let me just go back to your home page and let me give you a quick overview on how i can customize this template okay so for example right here at the very top of this section we have here the titles of course since this is a store for digital products i'm just going to type out digital products then you'd be able to see this small page right here at the right side so we can change the font style for this one and if you would like to change the color and if you would like to adjust the font size you just have to adjust it over here now if you want to change the color just click on this icon and then choose your color so i'm going to choose this color for now after that just click on the x icon okay and then you can do the same to the rest of the elements that are present on this page so for example over here this is a product section so we have here latest release or on the other side we also have the latest release now if you would like to upload a specific product right here you just have to click on it and click on manage your product okay and then right here we'll be able to see and add our first product but for now i'm going to skip this part because we are going to discuss it later on okay so let me just close this page 
and proceed to the book page okay so assuming that we are done customizing our home page so let us now proceed to our book page or to the storage of our products so just click on the pages right here and then click on books okay so right here all we have to do is to simply click on this section okay so when we click on this one we would be able to see the manage products option okay so this one so just click on this one and we would be directed to our dashboard okay so before adding our products we are going to delete all of this because we don't need this okay so just select all and click on more actions after clicking on more actions just click on delete and click on delete again to confirm your actions now let us add our first product okay so you can click on this one right here at the top right or this one at the bottom center now just choose digital product or digital file okay that's right and right here we are going to type out the title of our digital file okay so for example maybe content creator guide okay next is what type of digital file do you want to sell so when you click on upload file we have here image audio file document or zip file so for this one i'm going to select document okay and then next is we are going to click on the upload media at the top left or this one at the bottom center okay so just click on upload media and then click on upload from computer that's right now just have to click on that specific file that we are going to use so this one and then just click on open okay now just wait for a couple of seconds okay so now that we have successfully uploaded our file just click on add to product so right here we have the product info for the basic info we have here the name of the product and if you would like to add a ribbon for example new arrival or latest so i'm just going to type out right here latest and then just click on add next is the description of our product so you just have to type it right here or use generate ai text I'm just going to use the product name and after that just click on create text and then you'll be able to see this result now if you would like to find the result just click on it or just click on use text okay so let me just close this one so if you have images and videos for your digital products so you just have to click on this button right here and I am going to use media from Wix for this video but of course, you have to upload your own media. Okay, so I'm just going to use the search bar and type out content creator. So I'm just going to choose the relevant image and then just click on add to page. Okay, so this would be the cover photo of our digital products. So if you'd like to add additional info, so you just have to just click on add an info right here for the pricing so for example the price of the digital product is 500 pesos and if it is on sale so you can toggle the switch right here and then the discount and you'll be able to see here the sale price and of course the cost of goods and the profit and the margin now for the inventory and shipping we can track our inventory right here by toggling the switch on okay or toggling the switch off so i'm just going to use the in stock of course this should be in stock and after that just click on save okay so we have successfully added our digital product now next thing that we can do is to preview our website and see if we really added our product okay so when someone visit our store of course they'd be directed to our home page and when they click on the books option they would be directed to this page where our products are located okay so as you can see right here we have the title of our product 
the price of our product and of course the cover photo that we have uploaded so when they click on the specific product and they click on add to cart and click on buy now after that they'd be able to get this product and of course we're going to get our money okay so as you can see we don't have the buy now button right here because we did not successfully um, added our payment method it is because this is just a free plan so we have to upgrade our plan to a premium one in order to access the payment options okay so let me just publish this first so after um previewing your website just click on publish okay so let me go back to the book section again and here we have our product so take note that you can add as many digital product as you want just don't forget to add the important information and of course the payment options so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye